Senhor. Renata Bispo, a 33-year-old mother of four, is happy. She has a job, her first job. She's now a talented seamstress thanks to the Mulheres do Salgueiro Center, Women of Salgueiro, in English. I am going through a difficult time because I am separated, but then I think, thank God, I have a profession. It would be much worse if I didn't. Renata is also an instructor at the NGO that teaches women of a poor community in the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro how to sew and become artisans of some kind. Essa carteira aqui, por exemplo, é feita a partir do couro de peixe. Janete Nazaré, the NGO founder, struggles to get orders, but also sells the center's own innovative products that include fish skin and leftovers from clothing factories to make handbags and garments. Since 2006, when we began, we have trained more than 5,000 women, and we believe that at least 60% are now supporting themselves. But women in Brazil still face inequalities. By 2015, the latest available official figures show that women worked on average five hours per week more than men and earned 76 percent compared to men. And among the country's total number of women, more than 20 percent didn't have a job or education. Most of these women are the heads of their family. They're unemployed and learning a new profession to earn a living and inspire others to do the same. Jessica is one of the trainees and is optimistic with a free three-month professional sewing course. I learned about it through a friend. She took the course and immediately got a job, so I became interested because I want to work. Women represent 44 percent of Brazil's labor market, according to the government. But these women here know this doesn't mean gender parity. Still, they're learning a skill that can empower them, bring them income and independence. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.